Oh, it makes your arms tired, doesn't it, lady? No, drumming. <laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the show. It's been a long time since I was involved in a show like this. Uh, in that time, I've been uh, searching for the hero inside myself. <laughs> Eventually, I found Lawrence of Arabia. <laughs> I don't know who was more surprised, me or him. <laughs> During the last rail strike, I heard Trevor MacDonald on News at 10 say, Today, thousands of commuters beat the rail strike by staying at home. <laughs> That's an odd way of looking at it, isn't it? It won't stop me going to work, I'm staying home. <laughs> I went down the Old Bailey the other week. I'm thinking of setting up a rival legal system. <laughs> and I just wanted to see how they did it, you know. Because there's been loads of mistakes. Guildford 4, Birmingham 6, and that was after penalties. <laughs> and I went down there. And I went down there, and it was a very dull case, you know. It was all blah, 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 then a pause, then more blah, blah, blah. It was a lot of blahs. There was another blah, there was one more blah, I didn't forgot to mention it, but I thought it might get boring if I went into that <laughs> extra blah. And the jury were clearly bored, you know. Under my legal system, they wouldn't be bored. I'd have a band. <laughs> Straight away, you see, every time an important legal point is made, the judge gives the drummer a wink, rum <laughs> And everybody's listening. I mean, let's face it, if you're in a jury on a murder trial and you have to sort of listen to weeks of all kinds of horrible evidence and you have to try and unravel the twisted ramblings of a criminal psychopath, you might as well have a sing-song. <laughs> and if you're going to have a star witness, have a star witness. Shirley Bassey. <laughs> You can see her now standing in the witness box, shimmering away. <coughs> With the court's permission, my lad, and before I give my evidence, I'd like to sing a song that's been very good to me over the years. <laughs> I used to go to this really rough pub. Terribly rough pub it was. Oh, it was so rough. I'll tell you how rough it was. It was rough. That's how rough it was. <laughs> and every night there was a quiz night. The first question was always, who are you looking at? <laughs> I used to panic, you know, oh, I should know this one, hang on. <laughs> oh, don't tell me, don't tell me. Um, it's Aston Villa. <laughs> and for some reason they called it a theme pub. I don't know why, the only theme I could detect was cirrhosis of the liver, but... <laughs> not often you hear those words in a punchline. <laughs> now, um, during the last Oscar ceremony, the one that just gone, um, Christopher Reeve, after his terrible accident, came on stage in his wheelchair and the entire audience stood up in front of him. <laughs> That's rubbing it in a bit, isn't it? <laughs> no, he can't stand. There's no point in mocking him. <laughs> I mean, suppose he'd gone blind and walked onto the stage. Would the audience start reading newspapers? <laughs> and if you do it for Christopher Reeve, you've got to do it for everybody. Danny DeVito comes on, the entire audience start getting books off very high shelves. <laughs> Arnold Schwarzenegger comes on, everybody in the audience starts acting. <laughs> Noble Arthur, Mordred's army draw closer. They outnumber us 20 to 1. Do we surrender the castle? Surrender Camelot? Ha, ha, ha! Never! You sent for me, my lord? Yes, Lancelot. There are rumours of an affair between you and Guinevere. Fishwives tittle-tattle, my lord. I'm sure they do. <laughs> but is it true? Every word of it. Oh, heavy heart. How could such a thing happen? Oh, that my trusted Merlin were here. Merlin! <coughs> I'm going to be Chubby Checker. Merlin! Yeah, what do you want? Oh, 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 it's Merlin, that's me, isn't it? Uh, have I missed anything? I've been out the back casting the runes. There's only seven of them and none of them can dance. It's a shambles. None of them can juggle. Give me the wisdom of your council. They've changed the bin collection day to Tuesday. Is there more? Yes. Three ravens fell dead at the door of a blacksmith. And a horse gave birth to a fox. What does it mean? Don't know. Makes you think, though, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, I'll pick a card, any card. Three of clubs. Ace of diamonds. Oh, you're looking at a lot, are you? Yeah. <laughs> Great Merlin. Yes? Old friend and trusted teacher. Noble master of the magic arts. Who's he doing now? Help me find peace. 
Is it John Gilgood? In the raging sea. <laughs> More like Mary Gilgood. <laughs> it was once the quiet waters of my heart. Oh, great majesty! The demons that do besiege your soul shall henceforth be banished forever. Well, you started it. <laughs> well, you know, what are we going to put up with? Here, I'll pick a card, any card. Three of clubs. Ace of diamonds. Oh. The king has found out that his wife does love another man. And what is the name of this scoundrel? I, Lancelot. Well, we all know that. I've read the pamphlets. But what's the name of the scoundrel? <laughs> Lancelot. He is the man. Oh, whoa. Oh, oh, God. Noble Arthur. Oh, God, he's back. Mordred's army draw ever closer. Do we surrender the castle? Surrender, Camelot? Ha, ha, ha. Never. <laughs> what are we looking at? <laughs> yeah, I'll pick a card. Any card. Three of clubs. Ace of diamonds. <laughs> Blimey, you wouldn't want to wake up next to him in the morning, would you? <laughs> I want my breakfast. Have you seen my cornflakes? You know, you look just like Marilyn Monroe. <laughs> Camelot under siege. Lancelot and Guinevere. Oh, Merlin, the only man I can trust, the only man who knows what I truly feel in my heart. Give me your counsel, for I fear I cannot go on. Sorry, I was miles away. <laughs> You're talking to me. My noble lord, let me... Have another go. <laughs> my noble lord... He looks just like her, doesn't he? <laughs> Same sort of performance as well. <laughs> we had a little grill up there, we could watch his tabard go up in the air. <laughs> Off you go. Two, three, four. <laughs> kiss, <But> kiss. <laughs> My noble lord, let me face Mordred. I have no fear of death. Aye. Send him to battle and his death. Yet would not my lady's heart break at the bloody end of her beloved? Would I then not appear as villain in her eyes? I am lost. All is lost. Oh, oh, oh. oh me from my sleep. Oh, <laughs> he weeps for your infidelity, madam. Pick a card, any card. Three of clubs. Ace of diamonds. Oh. My lord, I would never be unfaithful to thee. My chastity belt remains intact. <laughs> I don't know why you bother. You might as well put it on the latch. <laughs> I'm getting the back way anyway. <laughs> He cries, my lady, for he knows of our love. Oh, oh forgive me, husband. Oh. But when I first did see his godlike visage, hear his heavenly voice and hold his angelic body, I knew my heart was lost forever. Oh, basically, I was up for it. <laughs> Noble Arthur. Oh, God, he's back. Hi, <laughs> <Pam> Mayors. <laughs> Mordred's army surrounds us. Our armies are defeated. Do we surrender the castle? What say you, Merlin? Surrender Camelot? Never. I call upon the darkest elemental forces of nature to be unleashed into my power so that Mordred shall know and fear the great magic of Merlin. Well, Mordred, what say your army now? Three long laughs. Look at that, it's the first time I've got Ace of Diamonds in my head. All laughs. Hello, town folk. Well, here I am again, recreating for you the sound of the English countryside. And what a marvellous morning it is, as I stand here by the five-bar gate here at Home Farm. But hark! Is that the first cuckoo of spring I can hear? <coughs> <laughs> Wait, and who's this walking across the top field towards me? Why, it's none other than Mr. Willis, the man I bought the tractor off with a higher purchase agreement in 1988. I wonder what cheery bit of village gossip he's got for me today. <coughs> You're 18 months behind with the payments. I'm here to repossess the tractor. Oh. Here he comes over the fence now, his face as red as a beetroot. Oh, but I'm too fast for him. Listen now to the authentic sound of Mr. Willis being hit over the head with a stainless steel shovel. <coughs> Oh, 
what larks. <laughs> Look at him stumbling around the farmyard like a bullock with BSE. <laughs> well, with that little job out the way, I think I'll go down to the village market and see what they're selling today. <clears throat> What a bargain! Hundred pounds, I got four dozen fake Rolex wristwatches. <laughs> but who's this coming towards me? Why, it's none other than the village bobby PC Jolly Fan. Oh, he's been after me for quite some time over a little matter of computer fraud. And oh look! Who's that hiding behind the abattoir? Why? <laughs> it's none other than the regional crime squad. Now, I don't know if you've ever been involved in a manhunt, but it sounds a little bit like this. <clears throat> an old fox like me. Well, I'd better be off. I've got to go over to Cherry Tree Farm to unload a truck full of stolen stereo equipment. <laughs> Never a moment's peace in the countryside. <laughs> Next week, I'll be telling you how to pick your own strawberries on the internet. <laughs> Hello, Sam. Hello, Miss Elsa. I never ever expect to see you again. Play it, Sam. Play as time goes by. Oh, I can't remember, Miss Elsa. I'm a little rusty on it. I'll hum it for you. <laughs> Sing it, Sam. You must remember this. Just a kiss, a sigh, just a sigh. The fundamental things apply as time goes by. And when two lovers woo, they still say I love you. On that you can rely. Time goes by. Sam, I thought I told you never to play. 